essentially with this approach we aim to solve the problem of engagement of travelers with the airline and the the feeling of accomplishment every time that they fly uh, they get something Joao, with Uptrip, your website says fly, collect, and win. Turn your flights into rewards. So it looks like a loyalty program on blockchain, but why don't you kick us off with what problem you set out to solve? Absolutely. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, yeah, so uh, when we started this project, uh, we thought, me and my co-founder, we thought, okay, uh, what is happening currently in the loyalty programs. And because we saw that uh, currently the loyalty programs uh, do not have the same engagement as before, and they are not so appealing to the young generation of customers, neither the occasional tra travelers, because on the current loyalty programs, you need, uh, especially on airline industry, you need to fly very often to get meaningful rewards and sometimes you need to wait a few months or a few years to get uh, something from that and so uh yeah the problem uh, started there we are essentially trying to offer a differentiation uh, in terms of uh, in approach to airline loyalty where and i don't want to jump right away to the solution but essentially we reward the users every time that they fly uh, and we essentially our goal with this approach is uh, by giving uh, yeah it's essentially essentially with this approach we aim to solve the problem of engagement of travelers with the airline and the the feeling of accomplishment every time that they fly uh, they get something yeah because it's my understanding that the loyalty programs have just gotten harder and harder to get any kind of payback Yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, essentially, it's a, a very uh, important business uh, for the airlines. And yeah, of course, that uh, the more time you develop these airline loyalty programs, the more difficult you need to sometimes make them and just truly reward the, the most loyal customers. And uh, yeah, that's why uh, we uh, started to develop UpTrip. Uh, we are backed by the Lufthansa Innovation Hub, and we are also doing this uh, project in partnership with Miles and More, which is the the leading airline loyalty program in Europe. Uh, because yeah, we thought that there uh, should have there should be a different approach, and yeah, so far uh, we believe yeah that the results speak for themselves. But we can go into that later. Yeah. So. I mean, it, it is on the blockchain, right? And um, that tends to appeal to a younger audience <clears throat> who also is not as familiar with these historic traditional loyalty programs. They are used to instant gratification. <laughs> so somebody's got to do something, right? So why, why don't you go ahead and describe your offering? Yeah, exactly. So we tend to describe Uptrip in one sentence, that is uh, essentially Uptrip is a blockchain-based trading card game that help airlines to boost their sales and increase their loyalty among their customers by providing them rewards every time they fly. And the best way to explain the solution is by explaining how it works. So essentially, when you fly, you scan your boarding pass in the app, and then uh, when you do it, you get digital trading cards. And from these digital trading cards, you choose two that you can collect, that, okay, that you can then collect. And then you've got different kinds of collections that you need to complete and get reward. And the differentiator here is that you've got easy collections that you only need, for example, one flight to get a small reward, or you also have more difficult collections just like other airline loyalty program, but it's just a different way to collect. And uh, this is the key mechanics of a trip. And you might wonder now, okay, where blockchain plays a part here. Essentially, 
when you've got collect these digital trading card games, if you want, optionally, you can connect your crypto wallet and then all the cards available on Uprip will be available to be minted on blockchain. And this opens a whole new world because suddenly you can trade your cards with friends on the outside world that don't even fly. Uh, you can um, you can trade them on external marketplaces like OpenSea. Uh, you can also benefit from a open ecosystem of partners that we don't need to uh, establish an official partnership in order to benefit these users. And so this is how we are on one hand rewarding the travelers and with a different airline loyalty program, but at the same time, opening up this program and making a beautiful connection with, uh, between Web2 and Web3 world, worlds just for the users that want it. And uh, that is essentially the solution that we are developing and that we launched uh, in May of this year, so uh, three months ago. So these reward cards are transferable. When you mint them as NFTs, yes, they are transferable. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of rewards would you get? You, you had mentioned, you know, there's there's a, there's kind of a short plan and then there's a longer uh, plan that, you know, you need more cards. What, what does that look like? Yeah, so we have two different types of rewards. We have flight-related rewards. So you can think about business launch uh, vouchers. You can think about also status miles because, like I said, we are doing this in partnership with Miles and More. You can get uh, uh, vouchers for uh, in um, uh, like uh, internet connection uh, in flight. Uh, so these kind of rewards that uh, you, as a traveler, can benefit during your um, your travel, but. On the other hand, we are also have travel-related rewards like uh, luggage storage, like postcards, like language courses. So things that we are doing partnerships with other companies. Uh, we have a partnership with uh, Babbel. We have a partnership with uh, Luggage Hero. And so we are doing these partnerships to offer these rewards that will be helpful during the entire journey of the traveler. And not only between the time where they are moving from city A to B. No, we want to offer rewards that cover the entire journey. And so essentially you have these two kinds of rewards, in-flight related and travel related rewards. So who is your ideal client? Um, well, we have different ideal clients. On one hand, uh, we want to reward, of course, the frequent travelers uh, and give them even more uh, for their loyalty. But on the other hand, we also want to uh, attract uh, the occasional travelers and the young travelers to the Lufthansa group, which uh, yeah, it's composed by eight airlines with whom we have a partnership. And so in a nutshell, uh, we have these two different kinds of customers and we are developing the solution to target both of them, uh, we it, we couldn't have, we couldn't yet just uh, uh, narrow the solution just to one specific target. Also, because like I said, we launched in May, uh, we are still very MVP ish, uh, and so we need to gather more data and more information to be able to just target just one specific customer profile. Yes, but so right now it is the Lufthansa. Airlines eight is kind of where you're incubating this thing. Yes, um, exactly. So, so, what kind of results are you? I mean, I know it's early in the game, but are you seeing yes. what kind of results are you seeing? So, we already saw uh, that, yeah, like when we launched in May, uh, it went viral, uh, at least here in Germany. Uh, it went viral on some blogs, and we've got a huge number of signups on. Uh, three or four thousand signups and since then uh, we were able to grow that number for a few dozen thousands of uh, of registered users we already have close to 100,000 of ticket scans and uh, 
uh, close to also 20,000 uh, collections redeemed, which means that we already gave close to 20,000 uh, rewards. And so, honestly, we are very happy with the results so far. Uh, and we are expecting that, uh, yes, this integration with the Web3 also, because we are going to push this uh, now, uh, we are going to push more uh, these uh, now in the coming weeks. We expect this to grow to a different audience as well and yeah, increase the results. Yeah, th those are big numbers. That's that's impressive. Uh, I mean, did the did Lufthansa Airlines kind of get behind some of the marketing or what did that look like? Um, so yes, we are doing a partnership with some of their social media accounts, but okay. the majority of the, the traffic and the registered users came from uh, virality, like I said in the beginning, but also word of mouth. Uh, everyone with whom we talk to uh, that flies with Lufthansa Group Airlines, they like the idea they recommend that to their friends and family and just suddenly, yeah, we can rely on this word of mouth as a channel. Uh, of course, I understand that this also works because of the nature of the product and the project. Uh, so, uh, yes, at the moment, uh, those were the main channels. But of course, we are also trying uh, to use paid marketing channels to now uh, give uh, a boost in the in the numbers and just reach out to more people. Well, Joao, this is a very impressive launch. Uh, congratulations. And I look forward to seeing what happens next with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we are very happy with it. Yes.